Mothers for All is a nonprofit organization in Botswana, Africa, supporting women who are caring for orphaned or vulnerable children. There are many villages in Botswana and beyond where Mothers for All is helping women learn the art of jewelry making and growing organic vegetables. The mothers are taught to make environmentally friendly crafts made from magazines, calendars, or posters, which are sold around the world to provide sustainable support for their families. The permaculture gardening enables the women to feed their families healthier, organic meals. Mothers for All was introduced in Safari Botswana by Sister Frances Boston, an Ursuline sister from Australia. Sister Frances has been in Africa for 40 years and in the village of Safari for 20. With her guidance and encouragement in both jewelry making and permaculture gardening, the women of Safari Botswana have hope, hope for themselves and their families. Who are the mothers in Safari Botswana? Dikaleko is 44 years old and raising five children, ages six to 20. All of her children are in school because of her work with Mothers for All. The sale of the jewelry has allowed her to fence her garden and build an outdoor toilet. Dikaleko learned and taught the method of permaculture gardening to the mothers in her village. Cecilia is 34 years old and has the responsibility for her young son, her epileptic mother, an uncle and two children in her extended family. Cecilia is one of the leaders of the group assisting Sister Frances. This role has helped Cecilia gain leadership skills that she will use in many areas of her life. With the income from Mothers for All, Cecilia is now able to build a chicken house, adding yet another way to feed her family. Bata is 31 and joined Mothers for All in 2008. She has two children and is responsible for her elderly parents and a sister who is disabled. Bata states, being a part of this group has changed my life. I can clothe and feed my children and family. I thank mothers for all. The little I have is because of them. Bata is now able to purchase materials for rafters and a roof for her home. Ma Oshana is the mother of five children, ages eight to 22. She joined Mothers for All in 2008. Making jewelry along with growing permaculture gardens enables her to send all of her children to school. Her oldest daughter has the privilege of attending classes at a distance learning school. With the jewelry income, Maoshana is able to complete her unfinished house and build an outdoor toilet. Hofiwa is 36 years old and has three children. Mothers for All has helped her buy basic food for her family. While she is a fine jewelry maker, she prefers gardening. Hofiwa is able to sell some of the vegetables, thus helping her to continue to educate her children. Because of Mothers for All, Hofiwa is able to add electricity to her home and for the first time in her life will have a refrigerator. Dick Lady, age 39, has two children. As with all of the mothers, it took much practice to make the jewelry as we see it today. At this time, the making of the jewelry is a source of happiness. Dicka Lady also enjoys a very healthy garden and a productive income. With the income from the jewelry, Dicka Lady has extended her one-room home. Bata is using a magazine, a calendar, or a poster to cut a long triangular strip, one half to one inch wide at the top. Maoshana is rolling one to four strips at a time beginning with the wider end and rolling it into a very tight roll. It is then glued with a water-based cold glue. The cutting and rolling is the time-consuming part of making this lovely jewelry. A necklace can take up to five hours to make. Depending upon the design, the bracelet can take two to three hours. Dikoleko feeds the beads onto a heavy fish line and dips those beads into a water-based varnish. The string of beads is hung on a fence in her yard to dry and dipped a second time. Cecilia puts matching colors together in bowls for the mothers to make the pieces of jewelry. The matching beads are then strung onto a transparent fish line and made into the pieces we buy. Smaller glass beads are used in between the handcrafted 
paper beads for greater beauty. A permaculture garden grows food almost anywhere in the world with higher yields and less effort once it is done correctly. Permaculture gardening is an organic garden that is water friendly. As long as the women use seed free compost, the garden will remain weed free. Planting the gardens correctly will afford the women a sustainable food supply. It is important that the vegetables be planted in certain combinations so that they encourage growth from one another. An example of that would be to plant marigold flowers near the tomato plant. The marigold discourages bugs and worms from eating the tomatoes before they are ready to pick. The presence of water has made these gardens possible. To date, 33 families have water in their yards because of donations by Ursuline students and others around the world. These students focus their care and concern on people and places where needs are beyond imagining. Mothers for All has transformed the lives of many women and families in Southern Africa, as well as the lives of the women you have just seen in Safari Botswana. The life and beauty of Southern Africa is made better by all those working to change lives, one life at a time in Botswana, Africa.